My initial educational experience was actually as a Red Cross instructor. I worked for the American Red Cross and developed health and safety programs for them, and so I taught all of those things. And so I got feedback that I was fairly good as an educator. While I was in medical school, I actually trained my classmates and the people in the class. And then once I got out of medical school, and uh, then I realized that, that I really enjoyed having uh, in medical students and fellows and residents with me. And uh, so it just became the process of being a, a clinician, which I was always intended to be, and being an educator at the same time. Mike has been here since the beginning of the school, and he's been a big part of building everything you see. Well, I was contacted by the founding dean, Dr. Ray Stowers, and he basically said, we're starting a medical school in Harrogate, Tennessee, and he said, I think you would be a great person for the startup. I was very happy where I was, but this was an exciting opportunity that just doesn't come along very often. And that's how I got here. As an educator, he wants his students to do well, period. And he does whatever he can to make that happen. How, you would, how, would, you, how would you grade this reflex that you just saw? I would grade this as a two. I would agree. What would it take to make it a four? Uh, a four would be clonus. Right, and what would you see if that were the case? Uh, just basically that the leg would just not stop, that it would keep right, in right. hyperreflexia and then it exactly. doesn't stop. Exactly. What would a three be? Dr. Whiting has a great ability to bring experiences from his work as a clinician and his life in general into the classroom and really make the material come alive to where as students we can envision ourselves actually out in the clinical world using the skills that he's, he's teaching us. Mike is an excellent educator and he does so many things well when it comes to teaching students, but one thing I think that he does real well is, is advise students and mentor students, much like he has done as, as he mentors faculty like myself, um, but he definitely leaves impressions on students that they stay in touch and, and it, it impacts their life in a very positive way. Dr. Whiting means the absolute world to me. Just seeing how much interest he took into me and how close we've gotten throughout the entirety of this whole of my medical school career, I really wouldn't be able to do it without him. He's called me before all my board exams. He's, even during the first two years of medical school, he's, he would still call me and text me and email me and it's something that I would not trade for anything. In, in, in teaching medical students, I try to get to know them as much as I can because that gives me insight into how I can be more effective as an educator for them, to meet them where they are. I think I, in, I can say in all honesty that the American Osteopathic Foundation has made a great choice and they have recognized what I already knew and I'm delighted that he is receiving this honor from his profession. I think ultimately my background in education blended nicely with my background as a clinician because I think each doing each one makes you better at the other one as well. I'm a better doctor because I'm an educator and I'm a better educator because I'm a doctor.